Hello everyone and welcome to introduction lecture for themes, epics, user stories and tasks in Scrum. My name is Dejan. On this channel I post short and reliable content to help you with Scrum, Agile and also other IT related topics. If this is your first time you've come to my channel, subscribe to this channel, hit that like button and turn on notifications so you get notified every time I post one of these brand new videos. On this channel, I provide great giveaways for Scrum beginners. For example, free access to one of my Scrum courses. And it will be more giveaways in the upcoming videos you don't want to miss. So subscribe and let's get into it. A theme provides a convenient way to indicate that a set of related epics have something in common such as being in the same functional area, for example. Epics in Scrum is a significant amount of work that we need to divide into smaller user stories. An epic can be spread across sprints and even across agile teams. An epic can be a high-level description of what the client wants and accordingly it has some value attached to it. User stories are short, simple description of feature told from the perspective of the person who desires the new capability, usually a user or customer of the system. They typically follow a simple template. As a user type of user, I want some goal, so that some reason. And we use tasks to break down user stories even further. Tasks are the smallest unit to track the work. One person on the team should complete a task. And developers may choose to pair up when do doing the work. Before we start with the product backlog, let's talk for a second about words you might not be familiar with in this picture. Let's say that your team want to do something ambitious, like uh, launch a rocket in space. To do so, you will need to structure your work from the largest objective down to the smallest details. That way you will be able to respond to changes, track your progress and stick to the goal. Epics, stories, teams are tools you need to do so. And understanding this agile structure will help you organize your work, so your team can strike a healthy balance between architecture, flexibility and launch a rocket into space. And that is all for today. Remember, I'm here for you. If you have any questions regarding this topic, please let me know in the comments. You can also join my new Facebook group so you get my feedback on your work. It's free to join, you can participate in discussion, ask questions and so on. And if you want to have access to complete Agile and Scrum program for Product Owner and Scrum Master or you want to see how Scrum looks like in real life, so you can fill out all your gaps in the Scrum that you are maybe facing right now, please check the links in the description. Thank you for watching and see you in the next Agile and Scrum video. Bye!